Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad VI of Morocco on the King and People's Revolution anniversary. His Majesty the King wished King Hamad VI lasting good health and well-being and the brotherly Moroccan people for their progress and prosperity. His Majesty praised the constantly evolving deep-rooted fraternal ties between both countries and people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, had received yesterday at Safriya Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Commander of the U.S. Central Command General, Kenneth McKenzie, currently on a visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Majesty the King welcomed General McKenzie, hailing strong strategic relations and decade-long partnerships binding the two friendly countries, based on mutual confidence, respect and joint coordination. He commended steadily growing military and defense cooperation to achieve mutual goals and aspirations, hailed the pivotal role of the U.S. administration in cooperation with allied and friendly countries to maintain regional stability and consolidate international security and peace. He hailed the efforts exerted by General McKenzie to expand, expand a joint military and defense cooperation between the two friendly countries. He reiterated Bahrain's appreciation of the U.S. role in supporting regional security and stability and deterring threats facing them. His Majesty the King confirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's participation in the joint effort to preserve the safety of international maritime navigation and secure international corridors for trade and energy in the region. His Majesty the King and General McKenzie exchanged views regarding regional and international developments, particularly latest developments in the region. General McKenzie expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his efforts to strengthen strong historic relations of friendship and consolidate joint military cooperation to the USA. He commended Bahrain's vital role and contribution to serving regional and international peace and stability. His Majesty the King hosted a dinner banquet in honor of the commander of the U.S. Central Command and the accompanying delegation. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco on the King and People's Revolution anniversary, wishing His Majesty lasting good health and happiness and the brotherly Moroccan people further prosperity under his wise leadership. His Royal Highness the Premier praised the growing deep-rooted fraternal ties between the two countries and people. His Royal Highness sent a similar congratulatory cable to the Moroccan Prime Minister Saad al-Din al-Uthmani. His Royal Highness said the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghadaybiya Palace His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Royal Highnesses affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain has made significant strides in the field of sustainable development in various fields. Based on the wise vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Bahrainis who provide their ability to excel in various fields. They emphasize that strengthening the attractiveness of the investment environment will open new horizons for robust sustainable economic growth and boost the strength of the national economy in view of rising global economic challenges. 
The Royal Highnesses cited numerous features of Bahrain's economic competitiveness and flexibility to confront various challenges. They also reviewed the latest regional and international developments, stressing that the rapid transformations in the region and the world, as well as events witnessed by some countries, require or need more awareness, cohesion and constructive action to preserve their security and stability. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and Secretary General Yasser Al Nasser delivered the following statement. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and members of the Cabinet congratulated His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, on receiving the Norwegian Guest of Honor 2019 award, which reflects His Royal Highness's efforts to achieve regional and international peace and coexistence among nations. The Cabinet then welcomed the upcoming visit of His Royal Highness to India to visit Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, affirming the importance of these visits in consolidating the bilateral relations on all levels. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the achievements of the Kingdom's youth in the sports sector and hailed the historical achievement of the Bahraini team in winning the West Asian Football Federation Championship that was held in Iraq. The Cabinet then praised the role of Saudi Arabia in ensuring the success of the Hajj season under the efforts of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and the Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The cabinet condemned the terrorist act that targeted uh, Sheba oil fields in Saudi Arabia by the Iran-backed Houthi militia, affirming Bahrain's solid stance to Saudi Arabia and its full support to all decisions and measures taken by Saudi Arabia to protect its security and stability. The cabinet urged the international community to follow up on the matter because such attacks threaten the global economy. The cabinet then welcomed the constitutional agreement that was signed in Sudan, describing it as a historical step to achieve peace, security and stability for Sudan and its people. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, directed the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments and the Minister of the Representatives and Shura Council's Affairs to cooperate with the Bahrain Lawyers Association and coordinate with the legisla legislature to issue a new law to be in line with the latest international developments. His Royal Highness also directed the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments to remove obstacles facing lawyers regarding the enforcement of judgments in addition to coordinating with the judicial authority to facilitate work for lawyers. His Royal Highness ordered the Supreme Council for Education and Training Development to develop the current scholarships program. His Royal Highness then ordered the chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Projects and Infrastructure Development to meet the services needs of the people of Bahrain and to complete the health center in Khalifa City. Services needs in Salman City allocate a place to establish a health center in Bidaya, develop the infrastructure work in Ikr and Zalag, follow up on the housing needs in Jid Al Hajj, Janusan, and neighboring areas, and study establishing a traditional market. In Demistan. The cabinet approved the kingdom's joining of the multi party agreement between the authorities of a report exchange and concerned states in the context of Bahrain's commitment to applying the standards of the project against the tax base erosion and the transfer of profits. The council decided to take the remaining constitutional and legal measures to ratify the agreement. 
The cabinet also approved a draft law ratifying the agreement of the establishment and uh, main system of a Gulf payment company. The cabinet also approved a draft agreement on avoiding double taxation on income and capital taxes and tax evasion between the government of Bahrain and the Swiss Confederation, as well as the attached protocol. The result of the comprehensive study on the condition of health centers and their working hours were discussed in light of the keenness to improve the quality of health services to become accessible to all residents in different regions and at different times. The cabinet referred to the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Physical Balance the project of expanding Kuwait Health Center and Bilad al Qadim Health Center. The cabinet directed the ministries and concerned authorities to continue the implementation of the sustainable urban agenda and to follow up on the new urban agenda. The cabinet discussed the government's response to a proposal submitted by the Representatives Council on restoring the housing application that missed the condition of the presence of the head of the family. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco on the King and People's Revolution anniversary, wishing him lasting good health and happiness and the brotherly Moroccan people further progress and prosperity under His Majesty's wise leadership. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince praised the strong ties between the two countries and people in various fields. The Ministry of Housing will organize until the middle of next October the exhibition of the social housing finance program Mazaya under the patronage of Minister Engineer Basim Al Hamar with the participation of various banks and real estate companies. The exhibition comes within the framework of the Ministry's keenness to benefit from housing units provided by the program through private companies. The Ministry invited all legible citizens uh, to benefit from Mazaya program through their application on the waiting lists to attend the exhibition and identify the projects and funding opportunities offered by the program. The Ministry pointed out that such exhibitions contribute to raising awareness of the program, followed by a significant, in significant increase in the demand for Mazaya applications, as the increasing demand for the program exceeded the number of its actual beneficiaries of more than 4,000 beneficiaries due to the advantage and flexibility provided by the program, including the speed of procedures to obtain the appropriate funding to purchase a housing unit and to avoid waiting periods and the possibility of acquiring the house unit that suits the beneficiary in terms of area, size and location of the unit.